Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Today in art class, we're exploring cave art. Woolly mammoths, step bison, and other large mammals once roamed alongside people across Eurasia. Tens of thousands of years later, we may have a glimpse into this Ice Age world through the cave art left behind by early humans. Cave art dates as far back as 65,000 years ago to the time of the Neanderthals. The majority of cave art depicts animals that humans would have encountered or hunted during the Ice Age, such as mammoths, horses, lions, aurochs, and deer. Some human figures and other symbols have also been discovered. Cave paintings were mostly created with red or black pigments made from rocks. Some artworks were painted directly onto cave walls, while some were first engraved into the stone with tools. Cave art is amazing, isn't it? Now, I want to tell you about the boy who discovered one of the most famous caves in the world. By the way, I'm in a cave right now. I'm definitely not under a desk. That would be weird. In 1940, in France, a boy named Marcel Ravidat was chasing his dog, Robot. Robot fell into a hole. He was okay, but the hole sounded hollow. So Marcel asked a few friends to go down with him in a flashlight into this hole. The three boys went underground, and they discovered the Lascaux Cave. This cave in France is full of some of the most amazing drawings of horned beasts like deer, there are hunters. They're made of uh, gray and red pigment. That means rocks that were crushed and used as paint. Nobody knows for sure why people painted these 40,000 years ago. Was it just to record their lives? Was it almost like a prayer or for good luck when they went hunting? Anyway, it is time for us to create our own ancient style cave paintings. Are you ready? For this project, if you've still got it, you need your art packet and inside should be a grayish blue piece of paper. And if I remember to pack it, one of these uh, cave animal pictures. If you don't have it, no worries. Use anything you have, line paper, crayons, or a brown grocery bag. First job is to make this paper look old. So I'm gonna crumple it up and then spread it back out. We're trying to make it look like the, um, the wall of a real cave. Now you can skip this part if you want, but I think it's fun. The next thing you can do is either rip or cut the edges of your paper to make it look like a rock. If you want something bigger to draw on, you can also use a brown grocery bag. Now I'm gonna pick some earth colors like brown, orange, red, gray, and black. You can use any colors you want and you can decide if you want to make one big animal or lots of little pictures. This is your cave after all. So I'm going to start. I'm going to pick one animal that I think looks cool. Um, I like this kind of chubby uh, mammoth type thing with a, with a horn on its nose. So I'm just going to draw lightly in case I change my mind. And you can even make up some of your own creatures if you have a favorite animal that you want to draw. If you have a white crayon, you can use it to add some highlights. If you have a brown or gray or black crayon, you can use it to add some shadows. If you want, you could add hunters. I'm kind of an animal lover myself, so my hunter is going to be holding flowers instead of a bow and arrow. But again, you can add all kinds of personal touches. You can make people from your favorite video game on this cave painting. You can make, I don't know, people from your family running around on your cave wall. You can even design another cave drawing on the back. I hope you learned a lot about ancient art today. Our paintings might not be 40,000 years old, but they're still pretty cool.